Hi, we're John Lewis Army, your robotics team from Memorial Hills, California. Our team consists of seven people, Lily, Bliss, Katie, Greg, Charlie, Roxy, and Rachel. Our plan was to make a website called Hagrid's Home for Caregiving Creatures, a place where people who need help and a loving companion can find it in a more personalized and easier way. How did you guys um, choose this project? We chose this project because originally we were going to create like a center for to help animals. And we thought that maybe we could like stop the process before that happened and we could like create it so that like people and animals could like be together. Uh, what other things do you consider when you were uh, coming up with your project? A, a zoo type thing, but for animals that needed help. Like we would take care of the animals and be able to like put allow them to get homes, but we decided that it'd be a better idea to have the, before they needed help, we would help them. Uh, who did you present this to? Oh, um, can I take this one? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, um, we contacted like several radio stations and, um, um, what's it called? Like TV shows, but mainly we contacted a, um, a group of high school teachers who teach technology and stuff and got their opinion on our quiz. And we also contacted like a couple college professors about like, what we're supposed to do. And then we also shared this with our whole school and like many of them. And then we have like our school and then um, the kindergarten school. That was really and then we also shared it to like elderly people's houses. So that way, because like, a lot of the animals on the website, like some of them are like, seeing eye dogs, like they can help the people who need that. In total, we shared our project with over a thousand people. What was their reaction generally? Um, most of them thought it was pretty cool. They were just worried that like it might take too much time with the automated process, or like with us filtering it through it ourselves. So we're working on it. They the also automated. gave us some more advice about what we can do in the future. Um, about so who did you work with to develop this? We worked with um, a website called Pet Finder. What they do is they have um, all the pets that you can find in your area. So what we want to do is we want to add an extra step in between so that we could be, have, um, make, make it easier for people to find those pets rather than having to search the phone. Uh, yeah, what were their responses to that? Uh, we actually didn't end up having too many people try it out yet. We only had, I think it was like five to ten people, just like close family members because we weren't quite ready to um, okay. But we had a couple people try it. I shared it with, when I shared it with the, the teachers at the high school, I had them try it. And they thought that it was like good questions, um, but they thought that we could have made it better with the animating process. Do you learn any surprising things? We learned like how like hard it is to actually like, find an animal online, and like to find the one you want, you have to like first look at like, a picture of it and then click on it and like read all about the animal, and then you have to go through this like any like, animal you want. So. Um, what would you do differently if you were to do this again? Well, we actually had a plan to build off of this project if we take it any further. It is So I think um, Liz might have mentioned this, but right now our quiz isn't automated because the program we use, which is um, Google Forms, uh, doesn't allow you to automate it. So we want to take it to another website. I believe we were talking about BuzzFeed, maybe. So we want to automate our quiz as the next step. As a team, did you focus more on the robot or the project? Have any like any experts uh, help you with this? Um, we contacted PetFinder many times, and we talked with a lot of their um, employees, and they helped us with it. So we have the teachers, we're technology teachers, who kind of make these codes for them. Uh, so what did you learn from these people? Um, the people from PetFinder, like they helped us with like making sure like the animals got where they need to be. Like they just taught us like how to like make sure that the animals are safe and everything. What does racist professionalism mean to you? I think I it means respecting the whole team and what each other wants. And I think sure that everyone just like has every idea they have like in the project. And it means fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, well to me gracious professional professionalism means um, just being fair to other teams and being nice, making friends, because the robotic competition isn't all about the competition, it's also about learning and making more friends.
How do you guys split up responsibilities as a team? Um, we use everyone's strengths to their advantage. So like Charlie, Bliz, Lily, and Griff, they're all like really good at like, like programming and like working on the robots. So they helped a lot out with that. And then, and then Katie, Rachel, and I, everyone else also. We mostly worked on the project. I'd rather do a lot. Also, we used the houses from Harry Potter to kind of divide up the um, responsibilities, responsibilities um, into different sections, but everyone pitched in with every uh, house or responsibility section. How did you get into that? Um, I think me, Rachel, Roxy, and Bliss, we started out as like, our school has like a robotics club that's just like, they have like the old Macs and you can like build a robot and play on RCX and NXT. Yeah. yeah, and then um, one day the coach from that approached us and was like, well, there's going to be a team next year, would you guys like to join that? So then we all just kind of started joining in in the actual uh, competitions. How many hours of work did you, how many hours did you work on average? Oh, um, let's see, like, like per week? week or per day? Uh, per week. Per week. Okay, so from like 7 to 9 in the morning, so that's two hours, and then sometimes after school till 6, so that's three hours, so like five-ish hours a day. So not every, every day. Every day. Yeah, every day. Every day. Every day. Like 10 hours at least, quite a bit, 10, 12, ish What general advice do you have for rookie teams? Um, just like make sure you guys don't take it too seriously because you still want to have it fun. You don't want to be like too serious about it, but at the same time, you also like have to be committed to it and relax. A lot of people are way too much. You just need to like it's not that big of a deal. Just calm yourself down and be fine. It's supposed to be fun. Yeah. And they like seeing you. Like what we've learned over the like years is that the judges like to see you like have fun. They like personality. Yeah. yeah. Like, so so they just like to be eccentric and fun. They don't. I mean, you don't want to be like we as a team obviously like to stand out. Um, from other teams, and so that's kind of why we decided to do all, all of this. <laughs> uh, so, about your team name, how did you come up with Dumbledore Prime for team name? Well, we were actually like, because we started meeting over the summer two years ago, well, like, it was like when we first became Dumbledore's army, and we were just kind of like joking because we like just, like, we all just read Harry Potter. Harry Potter. And so it just kind of like evolved to Dumbledore's army. Because they were such a strong team and it kind of represented something for a lot of people. Just, it meant something to us, but it also means, you know, we're strong and we stick together no matter what. So. Mm -hmm. Do you have a working prototype? Uh, yes, we do. Yeah, we have a website. The homepage of our website. We just have a nice little um, sort of collage of animals here and then a short piece of information. And if you scroll down a little bit, we have some featured pets that came from Pet Finder. We just have some that we thought people might be interested in. And then if you scroll down a little bit more, we have some information about our team. It just basically says like who we are and where we're from. And then even farther, you can contact us. Uh, it has our school and the days that we meet normally. It even has the location. And then you go back up to the top. You can click on Companion Quiz, which is up on the bar over here. And it takes you straight to our quiz, which is it's technically a Google Forms quiz, but we have it embedded in, in, to our site. So you can take our quiz, and then if you fill it all out, and then hit um, down here. Let's see if I can scroll down. Um, hit submit, then that allows us to look at your results, and then we can personally match you up with a pet. And that's our website. Uh, do you have a team cheer? Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah.